Here we have a Killer Instinct board in for repair. Now working. When I got it, it um, will just continually do the blue this. It would just do this over and over and over again. But there'd be garbage, there'd be artifacts all over the screen. And sometimes it would say SRAM failure, sometimes it would stop and just do the blue screen again. Um, it's always had junk on the screen, lines, you know, vertical lines just all over the place. So I got to looking at the board and, you know, typically your CPU I see, especially when the heatsink looks like that, has been retouched. And sure enough, this one's been retouched, but so is that 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 socket's been replaced all of those were retouched all of uh these ram here which end up being the sram those have all been retouched a lot of these parts in the middle of the board were retouched and I, you know i thought for sure this thing was a goner just I'm not saying that anybody messing with this board's a bad thing but a lot of times human hands can make things worse than they were before. However, I decided to persevere. I guess, uh, and just stick to it. I started probing these SRAM and I found a whole bunch of them with bridge pins, open pins, and, and that's because of the retouching. Um, let's see, there was a short on that I see. Yeah, I'm no way I'm gonna focus on it. Yeah, there's no way. That short was causing two of these, like pin 12 and 13 on two of these RAM to be shorted. When I fixed that short, the game would boot. Still had garbage on the screen, and then it would not let me uh, start a game. As soon as I tried to start a game, it would reset. So I started looking at more of the SRAM, found a few more shorts, still no fix. So I got to thinking, you know, older games, well, this is an older game now, but really old games, games in the 80s with the larger parts, you can actually piggyback RAM. And sometimes that'll help you find your bad RAM. Well, that's what I ended up doing. I pulled a RAM off of a bad board I've got and I started piggybacking until the screen cleaned up. And it didn't clean up completely, but it cleaned up a lot better than it was. Replaced that RAM, it ended up being that one right there. And I still had um, no, no more artifacts, but on the green test screen, there were tiny little dots at the top of the screen, or lines rather, little like one inch lines at the top of the screen. So I just started probing around some more and I found between this pin and, or this IC and this IC, um, pin 13 was not connected. So 13 is connected here and here, here and here, here and here, and so on all throughout these things. And then 13 dives down here somewhere to these ICs. Fix that, still wasn't right. Ended up being um, this one or this one? Pin 20 was disconnected. And pin 20, if I remember correctly, is either output enable or chip enable. So clearly with that pin being disconnected, it's not gonna work. But now as you can see, it works. I'm only got punch buttons connected so I can't really do anything. Well, I got the joystick too, but you know. You know how it is, need the kick buttons. All right, all fixed.